So then from a financial standpoint, which is quite clearly sort of the driving force in this big proposal, um, the idea of parachute payments being scrapped. So if you're unfamiliar with parachute payments, if you are relegated from the Premier League, you'll be uh, helped out financially for the next three seasons, I believe. I think it lasts for, for three seasons. Um, two seasons. So what, what's the, what are the benefits here or, or, or how are clubs looking at the, the idea of, of that you know, not being a part of their plans. I understand. I understand the frustration with that uh, with that rule. Um, more so because of a team that gets promoted one year and then the next year goes back down again. So they get promoted and they decide, like a Norwich, for example. Right, we're not going to push ourselves out there. We're not going to exceed uh, any of our our wage structures. We've got all this extra revenue, but we're not going. We're not going to spend it all. We're going, to, we're going to spend it, but we're going to use it in, in a different way. Invest in our, in our club, the ground roots, whatever it is. In training facilities, club facilities, which is fine. You, every club can do whatever they want with it. All they don't want to do is to, the clubs, get, they're already getting a major benefit from being promoted. With that 100, 150 million uh, bonus for being in, in the league or, or automatically the payment they're getting for being in the Premier League. To then continue to, to, uh, to give them money once they are relegated after one season or even two seasons, I think should be scrapped. If a team's been in the Premier League for say either three, I don't know, I'm not quite sure in the, in the term, in the time frame. It's either three seasons minimum or five seasons minimum. I think then they should be receiving some sort of parachute payment. But a club to be relegated after one season or two seasons in the Premier League, I don't think they should be receiving any parachute payments. Interesting, because when we discussed this earlier though, I, 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 didn't, I clearly didn't listen well enough I thought you meant the other way around because surely the longer that you're in the Premier League, you've got the opportunity to try and get your finances in order and save and be comfortable that when you are relegated that you then go, well, yeah, but we have been lucky enough to have five years in a row no, I just being protected. The longer you're in the league, the more you start for being in the Premier League, right? So the club is financially in a position where I think they're the most vulnerable if they are then relegated after the same periods in the Premier League. They haven't prepared themselves properly. Um, the, the relegation is completely unexpected. They have a bad, they have a bad year. They have a, a, a disastrous year. Obviously, I think then there, there's a, there's merit to give them some sort of parachute payments to try and ease their way back into it, to try and realign their finances for being in a in a, in a, in a lower league. Um, for a club to get promoted and then get relegated the very next season and then receive for a further two seasons parachute payments, I don't think they should. Okay, and then the last thing that we'll just dissect from the project big picture proposals, because um, there's a lot, as we sort of discussed, a lot of behind the scenes financial deals going on. But the big one that would notice a difference is the idea of um, with the two bottom teams in the Premier League being relegated automatically, with the 16th place team joining the Championship playoffs. Now that's oh, uh, that's brilliant. I'm a big fan. I, I think it's a great idea. I absolutely agree with it. I mean, it's done, it's been done in Germany. Um, I'm trying to think where else it gets done. It gets done in Spain, I think, does it? Mm, yeah, I think it is in Spain as well. Uh, I'm not sure in Italy, but I, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's a great way of doing it. I think the, the bottom two should go down. The third one is in a playoff. And whether or not they join the playoff or whether they play the winner of the playoff. Okay. Just, just then how, you'd be pretty stiff if you, if you got to, you know, if you were trying to get into the Premier League. And then you had to play, and then you lost that final. That'd be a yeah. bit. You reshuffle it. The people you're well aware beforehand. Yes, traditionally, yeah, you win that that top four playoff. Sorry, that, that top six playoff. So the fourth to six playoff. I uh, sorry, the third to six playoff. You win that, and you get promoted as it stands right today. But then, actually, no. What actually happens is you end up playing off another game. I mean, the way it is anyway to bring in that team. Does that then mean that the top six gets reduced to top five? Yeah, I suppose it would have to. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not really sure. There's ways to, to work on that one. So you either, you either reduce it to top five, uh, top two getting promoted automatically, and the third team is there and you've got the playoff, or whether it's a case of keeping it as a top six, those four teams from third to six playoff, and the winner of that plays the third place. Uh, third last or well, third bottom place team from the Premier League, maybe that's that's open for discussion. But I, I, the actual idea of having the third bottom team in the Premier League play in a playoff, I think, is great. 
enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.